It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC East. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones. Turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And able to get this out to the 25. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll get this up past the 40. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them. But they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. From the gun, it's Hurts. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. So no gain on the play. And now we've got a third down and three. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. 
And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And the slot man goes in motion left. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact, but that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And down inside the 15 he goes. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's a second and eight. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, they moved the ball well there on the opening series. Running game was in sync. They were knocking on the doorstep, but ultimately, Charles, they'll have to settle for the field goal. But well, they certainly were moving it well and give this defense a ton of credit. Finally dug their heels in and forced the field goal. That's one of his game partner. Will this offense look back at this drive and think to themselves, if we'd gotten six, we'd be in a better spot. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here now the Cowboy offense onto the field to get their first crack at it. The six foot three QB from Central Michigan leading him out there, and that's Cooper Rush. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. Throwing here, Rush. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. 
Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. A first down carry for Barkley. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. As they've got it as we resume action. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. This is caught. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play and they got it done there. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. In motion, that's Tolbert. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. They run again with Dowdle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll try to bootleg with Rush. That is caught by Lamb. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. That's good for 28 yards. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and 10. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Second and nine. Back to throw, Rush. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Rush. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Milton Williams able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So on fourth down, out is Brandon Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick here is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Brown goes in motion left. Back to throw now on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw here. This short throw caught by Goddard. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Back to throw again. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. They'll look to throw again. And connecting quickly with Goddard. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Yeah. 
It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Now Rush. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Second and ten. To throw is Rush. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Rush to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A running play. It's Dowdle. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They run here with Dowdle. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here's Brian Anger now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throwing his hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go play action with Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubted for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 23 yards on the play. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Dallas, Texas is the spot third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. He'll look to throw. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Forced out to his left. Hurts fumbles it. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll run with Barkley. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Throwing to start the drive. Rush. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll stop him at the one-yard line, but small consolation there following the turnover. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Barkley will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. 
Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. The Cowboys offense and Cooper Rush getting set for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. We all know that teams never want to use the word panic, but if they expect to win this game, it has to start right here, right now. That return just set them up for points, and it needs to be a touchdown, not a field goal. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and four. Out of the shotgun, Rush. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a tackle there by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a good pickup on the ground of seven yards, and time has run out on this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Rush working from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad
Here now, second and four. Throwing here, Rush. Over the middle, it's complete. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Dowdle fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is gonna be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? Now this likely a must-have. Third and goal. Back to throw. Rush. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Jordan Davis drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They're going for it. Rush. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. From 17 yards out. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Barkley inside handoff. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. 
After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This from 54 yards away. And he hits the upright, but it caroms in anyway. But plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, distance was never the question there, but he gets a friendly bounce to carry him that thing through the uprights. Yeah, and when you're trying to hit from 50-plus, you got to expect the ball's going to slide one way or the other. So he's pretty fortunate there that he's able to bank this one in. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. This is first and ten. Now rush. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. Here's Rush. His throw incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. A big play looming on third down. Rush. That's caught by Tolbert. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Fourth down. Here's Rush. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Back to throw rush. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. On second and ten. Rush. Wide open receiver complete. 
And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here comes second down at five. Back to throw again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Here now, third down. They'll look to throw again. This is caught. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Now first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Aubrey good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. 
So fly Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say,